it's me. I have a review for you of a brand new Monster High character. One that has not been in any lines before. And that character is Jane Boo Little. Jane Boo Little. It's kind of a mixture between a voodoo witch doctor, a jungle book, and Dr. Doolittle. She speaks to animals. She grew up in the forest. Uh, she has this kind of like voodoo witch doctor vibe to her. She's really, really cool. So let's start from the top. She has really, really dark blue hair. It's in very, it's very similar to black, but it's very, very, very dark blue. She also has some pink that is very minimal and it goes through her hair. Turns into a big poofy ponytail. Normally, I would say this was a very unstyled look, a very easy look to do, but maybe because she is supposed to be this jungle girl, uh, it, it kind of works. She has a, uh, like a bouffant kind of style going up here, so you'll see this bit in the front definitely goes up a little higher than the sides. That's actually kind of cool because it makes this, the ponytail look slightly more dramatic. Her skin is purple, like a light purple. She has some minimal makeup, but it's really kind of neat. So you'll see her eyes aren't too decorated, um, but her face, what really stands out are these circles under her eyes very cool and they kind of keep her face unique while not being too over the top. She has a mauve sort of lip on her. Very pretty. I love her face. I think it's really really well done. Uh, just because some of the Monster High dolls can get a little too overdone in terms of makeup and fun little creative designs on their faces. This is perfect. She has an outfit which kind of hard to see because I've kept her attached to everything she was in the box. Uh, she has a little plastic neck ornament here, uh, pattern top which goes into kind of like a pink mini dress here, and she has leggings. I love her belt. I think her belt is super cool. And I do like the patterns and the different vibe of this outfit because we haven't seen this on, on, on many Monster High characters. I don't think we've seen this kind of styling on any Monster High characters, so I love that it, it, it stands out. Uh, she has bracelets. She also comes with a purse. Lovely, lovely, lovely. This prop you'll see here is uh, actually a pen. This is one of the first monster characters I've encountered that isn't just doll, but she has some sort of interactive element with her. So the curious one in me, before looking at the instructions, because I was like, well, it's just a doll. Why do I have to look at the instructions? The curious one in me opened the purse to find like a little roll of paper and. I was slightly intrigued. I'm like, what's the deal with this little roll of paper? Then I look at the instructions and it turns out that this is also a pen, which I have not taken out of the plastic because I don't want the cap to f fall off and then have a useless prop. Uh, I've also left this attached to her hands just like it was in the box because, again, it's a cool prop and I don't want to lose it in my bag, bag of accessories. Um, but just so you know, yeah, this cool voodoo witch doctor stick is actually a pen. And inside here, there will be paper. We're gonna go down to our shoes here. Very neat shoes. They don't fit as well as some of the other Monster High shoes because they wrap around her legs, but they are really, really cool. I love the feather accents that are all over this style. I think it's really neat. Her pet is an adorable sloth. Uh, he's teal, he's made out of a rubbery plastic, and he's designed to hang on her back, which means that the pet won't get lost on a doll shelf full of Monster High dolls, which is perfect. And plus, he's an adorable little sloth. Um, so the sloth, again, before I read the instructions, I was wondering kind of what this deal was. You'll see the sloth has a cutout here, and he's also very soft plastic, very pliable plastic. As it turns out, you're supposed to stick the paper from the purse inside the sloth, and then you have like a stash of paper. If you need to write a quick note, you can take her voodoo wand and you could pull paper out of the sauce back and you could write a quick note. And then, bad bing, bad boom, you have, you know, saved whatever your thought was somewhere. For my purposes, the sloth just stays on her back. You will see that he fits really well, even on the back of the stand, because you can't put him, you can't use the stand and have the sloth on her back. You do have to put the sloth around the stand. But he stays really well when you do that too. Jane Boolittle is a really cool doll. I think she stands out amongst some of the other Monster High dolls, especially now that, you know, we've seen some characters repeatedly in every line for 
three or so years. Jane Boolittle is an example of a doll that I think is much needed in the Monster High collection because she's new, she's exciting, she has an awesome color scheme. I love the whole like dark purple, dark pink, teal combination and I really do love the colors they chose for her hair. I don't know if I get very much enjoyment out of the interactive elements like the pen and the paper uh, and that sort of thing, but I do think other people will find enjoyment in that. What do you think of Jane Boo Little? You can share your thoughts below. You can also check out my blog, Confessions of a Doll Collector's Daughter. You can check out our Facebook page, all that good stuff. You'll find all the links down below in the description area. So let me know your thoughts and I will talk to you soon. Bye!